Nestlink, that is the live bidirectional bridge between Epicor and your nesting software, such as Sigma Nest, Pro Nest, Cutright. There are a lot of data being generated in Epicor that also needs to be generated in a nesting software, but because of the disconnect, someone has to manually create that data in nesting software. We are going to start inside the Epicor, and what we're showing you right now are uh, two, two screens. First, we have the receipt tracker. This is the blank inventory plate that we received in Epicor. So there's been a purchase order to buy this blank plate as a raw material and we have received it in Epicor. That's what we're seeing here. And using the Nestlink application, we are going to be creating this blank plate in the nesting software so that the people on the shop floor knows that there's a new blank plate that can be used for these cutting operations. So that's the first piece of data. Inventory being received in Epicor, we are about to create them in nesting software. But we also have jobs. So this is a job screen. The job was created in my Epicor. And this job requires these three different items to be nested and cut out. We need to produce rectangular plate parts, which needs to be cut out of a, a blank plate. We need three of those. We also need circular plate. We need two of these circular plates. And we also have a custom shaped plate. So these are three different um, nesting nested parts that this job requires. So these three items needs to be sent over to the nesting software so that the nesting operator, people on the shop floor, knows that these parts now needs to be cut out in order to meet, fulfill this uh, the demand that was created by this Epicor job. So that's another data we are passing from Epicor into nesting software. So we'll be creating a blank plate in the nesting software and we are creating these work orders for the nested parts based on the job that we'll see here. So we're going to run the nesting applica uh, nest link application now. Now today, uh, I want to make a quick comment here. Today for our demonstration purpose, we are doing this manually so we can show you exactly step by step what is happening. But all of this that you see in real life will be completely automated. So you, nobody has to search any job numbers. Uh, this will all be done automatically based on the new jobs created in Epicor. Nesting automatically finds a new job and pass the data over to the nesting software. But today we'll show you using the manual uh, demonstration so we can show you exactly step by step what's happening. So here we're just selecting a job 2461. That's the job that we saw in the Epicor that had those three different sub-assemblies, manufactured item. We're going to hit OK and send this over to the nesting software. So the nesting software is going to be in the shop floor. And using the nest link, we are creating both inventory and job data the nesting software that matches the new data we saw in the Epicor system. So the saving is complete. Let's close the screen and open up the nesting software. So we're using the Sigma Nest today. <clears throat> All right, so here's a nesting software. So this is what the people on the shop floor is using. And what we're going to take a look at is first the new blank plate. So when we go to the sheet list inside this nesting software, what the shop floor person uh, is seeing is that we have a new sheet created here that's called blank plate. That's the blank plate that we received in Epicor inventory. And we automatically created a new sheet here that the nesting software can use now. So nobody had to manually go talk to the shop floor person to have this blank plate created. It was all done automatically. And we're also going to see the work orders. When we go into the work orders tab in this nesting software, we have this work order 2461. 
customer information, quantity information, due date, all of these that's relevant in the nesting software, it's all created and updated or automatically by Nestlink application based on the job that we saw in Epicor. And we can actually expand um, these work order and we can actually see those three different shapes that we need to nest and we need to cut up. The circular plate, the custom shape, and the rectangular plate. All those three different manufactured parts or sub-assemblies required by that job in Epicor. So this is what Nestlink is able to do automatically, real time. Before, without the Nestlink, this didn't happen automatically. Someone had to extract the data from Epicor and someone had to manually create, type these data into the Nestlink software, create new blank plate, create these work orders one by one. So with Nestlink, we can do this automatically, detecting these new demands or inventory uh, recorded in Epicor and we can create them in nesting application. So I'm going to go ahead and, and go through a nesting process. So this is purely a function, um, the feature of the nesting application. Um, so once the once these work orders are created in a nesting software, the shop floor person using this nesting application will use the nesting software to nest and cut these parts. So that's what we're going to go through. <clears throat> so this, you know, this process that you're seeing right now, nothing to do with the Nestlink application really. This is just a normal nesting software capability. Your shop floor workers, that this is what they have to do to nest and cut these items from the blank plate that we are using. So we can see the nesting happening here and we're going to simulate cutting these parts using, again, could be a water jet cutter, laser cutter, CNC machines. And we're just posting this, meaning we're completing this uh, cutting operation manually to replicate what happens on the shop floor. So what we've seen so far is the uh, in, in the previous diagram, the, the top half of the diagram. The jobs created in Epicor creates a demand, creates a work that needs to be completed in the nesting software. Nestlink automatically created that for us. Now the shop floor is completing the work by actually nesting and cutting, and we're going to finish that up. <clears throat> you can see the three plates, circular, rectangular, and custom shaped plate that was successfully nested and cut out of a blank plate and nesting software tracks information like the weight of the parts so material actually used weight of the scrap that was generated weight of the remnant blank plate that's left and in the second half of the demo we're going to use nestlink to bring these material data back from the nesting software into the epic or job now that the actual cutting is completed. So, <clears throat> we're going to open up the Nestlink application again. Again, this will be done automatically, but today in the demo, we're showing it to you manually, so we can actually take you step by step. So that's the that's the program name 38. That's the nesting we just did. We just nested circular plate, custom shape plate, and rectangular plate with those quantities. And we're going to drive this data back into Epicor now. So the job 2461 in Epicor is being updated. Let's open up the Epicor job. So once the actual manufacturing, the cutting is completed, Nestlink then takes the data back to the Epicor job where the demand was created from. And when we look at the sub-assemblies and expand, we can actually see the material. So each of these plates, they have the material added by the Nestlink, which is a blank plate. That's what we used 
that's what the nesting uh, nesting software user used and when we look at the actual material information we know not just what which material was used but also how much material was used and we can actually record the weight of the material used weight of the scrap that was generated and also the rate weight of the remnant stock that's left after the cutting operation is done so all of that material consumption data and again this could also include other type of data that you would like to track in epic or jobs such as labor consumption how much time was it took to cut these parts any data that's available in your nesting software as long as you know where you want to store that data in Epicor, we can have our Nestlink application automatically synchronize these data so this information is available in Epicor and you can use these data in Epicor to track this job much better.